As part of working with the view, you'll be working in either what we call an orthographic view or a perspective uh, mode. If you look at the window control up here, there's this little slider right here. So currently, if we look at the screen, at our objects, we don't see any perspective. It's just as if we were in a standard you know, 2D uh, illustration application. However, if I come up here and I want to take a look at my view and my scene and my objects with some perspective, because we are in a 3D application, then I can grab this slider. I'm just going to pull it over one level. And now you'll see that when I rotate by holding the spacebar and shift, we can see things in perspective. And if I want to bring this closer into view, I can select this right here and simply come over to my window menu and do a fit view to selection. Now I can also zoom down over the display. So we've been panning around, rotating, and moving the display around, but we haven't done much in the way of zooming in or zooming out. So again, it all starts with the space bar. So I would hold the space bar, and if I want to zoom in, add to that the command key on the Mac, and that would be control on the PC. You can see the icon change there and just click to zoom in. To zoom out, then you would just add to those two keys the option key, and you can see how we can move in and move out that way. You can also marquee select, so or marquee zoom in or zoom out. So if I were here and I wanted to zoom down over this area here, I would hold the space bar and command keys, and then I could just marquee select around that area. Now, it can be a bit daunting when you're first new to 3D to try and figure out how to navigate in 3D space. So let's say we want to go back to an orthographic view. So what we can do is let's switch back here to orthographic, no perspective, and I'm going to switch back to a front view. And if I want to get everything back into the center of the display, then again, I would just come over here and do a fit view to selection, and that would bring everything back. And then we're free to zoom in, and then holding the option key, zoom out. So it's actually very much like the way um, Adobe applications work in terms of zooming in and zooming out and, and controlling the display.